I've reached the end of my working day. People are saying, what's it like living on your own? Well, I think I've probably spoken to more people during the day and over the last 10 days or so, um, spoken to more people than I have uh, in any other comparable day in all the previous years of my ministry. Of course, mainly on the phone. Now, I have just done my daily exercise as well, and there have been other people to talk to along the way. So that's something for me to be thankful for. This is the time, though, to unwind. It's also the time for prayer. I'm realising I'm a bit late for evening prayer, so instead I'm now going to be early for night prayer, or Compline, as it's known. If you want to follow this service and join in yourself, you can find it on the Church of England's websites, and it's available as an app, and the app is free. It's called Time to Pray. Just look for it either on the Church of England website or in your app store. For now, though, you'll be pleased to know no preaching, no great long readings, just one psalm, and there is a bit of singing as well. If you've got the app, you might like to look it up. It won't be exactly like this because I'm using the Franciscan office book and the Franciscans in the Anglican Church were behind a lot of the liturgical revision of recent years, for which we can be thankful, I think. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. It's in this last office of the day that we find a time first for silence, to reflect on the day which is passing. It's a time when we recognise our shortcomings, our need of forgiveness. It's also a time to be thankful. Perhaps you yourself might take the opportunity not only to think about your causes for thankfulness, but to write down those things by which you've been blessed during the day. And all that we hold before God as we seek his mercy. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. To you, O saving three in one, let homage due by all be done, and grant us by the cross restored to share the victor's great reward. Amen. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, 
so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned. When as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God? How great is the sum of them? If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. And at the end, I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Passion Tide reading for night prayer. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. The prophet Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. A response to this scripture. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. The Nunc Dimittis is also known as the Song of Simeon, it's the evening canticle, and they're words from the lips of Simeon as he greeted the newborn child Jesus in the temple when he was brought by Mary and Joseph there to be presented. It starts and ends with an antiphon. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. We pray. We make the offering of this day of thankfulness for blessings that we have received, of prayer for those with whom we have spent time, people in our households, people whom we've seen though at a distance in the street when exercising, people whom we have seen at work or spoken to while working from home, people upon whose work we depend. Pray especially for all who work within the health service and those other services which support it. For those who in seeking to bring healing to others put themselves at risk. We pray for people who have difficult decisions to make those in government and advising them when it comes to matters of national policy. Doctors deciding on courses of treatment. We pray for our loved ones, especially those who are isolated, those from whom we're cut off. Pray for those who are in care homes, not really understanding what is going on, and those who care for them there. Passion Tide Collect. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, Help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Perhaps you join with me in the Lord's Prayer as we come to the ending of the day, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. I think it must be eight o'clock and I'm supposed to be outside making a noise. Perhaps you are. Maybe this is something you can come back to. But now... A final blessing that we ask of God. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen.